Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for watching Manny Scale Modeling. Uh, I got some uh, new paints in. I wanted to do a couple uh, spoon tests with them. We'll do uh, do it over black and uh, primer. Uh, it's the Mr. Surfacer gray primer and then just a black primer. The Mr. Surfacer primer, I just got that. Uh, I've never used it before and it's awesome. Love it is pretty insane actually um getting some work done on the 55 some bare metal foil done still got to do a touch up right there um getting there got to clean the door jams out of course um a little more wet saying to do to get that all scuffed up so hopefully we we'll get that re-cleared again soon uh i do have some more got a few more shop cards uh ready if uh anybody wants to swap cards or whatever just uh send me an email so the paints are <clears throat> they're cobra motor paints by ammo and i'll put the link under the video here so if you want to go check them out they're acrylic um and they are in glass bottles which is kind of cool so we're going to just try to do both these uh, spoons with it and i'm going to use the um blue rob walker it's called color that was pretty cool so um i'll get this shooken up or whatever and uh i'll meet you at the pace spray booth Hey everyone, welcome back and thanks for watching. So we're going to do the sample of the Cobra Colors uh, Blue Rob Walker is what they call it, acrylic. And I already shook it up and they all have like a BB or something in them. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to pour some in here. A little bit. Get the top wiped off. <clears throat> All right, we'll try it over the gray first. Now, I was watching some videos on it and they were saying just to do like a light tack coat on it first. Then you can go back in a little bit heavier. So we're gonna stay a little ways away. Nice, that blue. 
Oh, I like that. And it levels out nice from uh, the videos I was watching on it. Let that dry. And I'll do a, another video on them when they're pretty much cured. So do this one on black. A little bit darker. I kind of like that one a lot better. Uh, I wish I had white primer. I'll have to get some white primer. I'll we'll try it on the red oxide too. I'll we'll have to do one of those. Uh, actually, yeah, let me grab a, let me grab a red one. Okay, so this is, a uh, this is Tamaya uh, red oxide. Let's try that. Let's see if I get a little paint in there. Put a little more paint in it. Purple. <laughs> wow, it still looks nice. Let's see. Yeah, so Gray primer, black primer, and red oxide primer. Uh, I definitely like the light blue, the blue, and I like this one. The black, eh, it's, it's okay. But I'll let those dry for a while, and I'll I'll come back, and uh, we'll look at them when they're dried. Um, I'll probably end up clear coating them at some point, but I just want to get a look at the colors and how they level out and stuff so um i'll be back hey everybody um so i got the cobra motor paints uh colors this is the blue rob walker blue and i sprayed it on this one is mr surfacer gray primer that's what it looks like it's a uh, it's really nice. I like that. I like that one. <clears throat> this one's over black primer. And this one's over red oxide primer. I do like this one the best though, over the gray. Really light, but it's it's nice. Um so we're gonna uh clear coat it with the Mecha Empire 2K clear and I'm gonna go over to the paste spray booth and get these cleared and see how they look. So, I'll be back, guys. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and I'm going to shoot some 2K clear over these spoons. I already got that mixed up. Um, so, let's do some of that. I only mixed up a little bit. So, hopefully, we can get all three. So let's go. Let's do a couple little tack coats.
Oh, I do like that white, white or blue. primer, Mr. Servicer Gray Primer. This is on black. Kind of looks like a dark purple, but see this one, red oxide. So, I mean, they look, uh, looks good. Do some more on this one here. like that color. Wow. I guess it depends on what you're building, what color you want it, that, uh, you know, black base or red oxide base. Wow. It is nice. Definitely cool colors. Uh, now when I shot the paint, I just did it right out of the bottle. I didn't thin it or anything, and I wanna try to do it with another color on some gray. I'll use a different color of the Cobra paint, and uh, I'll mix some uh, leveling thinner in with it, and we'll see how that does. So. We get the airbrush cleaned up and then I'll be right back with a new spoon. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and I got the leveling thinner, and we'll try the graphite gray. See how that looks. Already shook it up and everything, so we should be good to go. Got the airbrush all cleaned out. And this is the test with the uh, leveling thinner, which I haven't tried, so I'm not sure if there's going to be a reaction. I'm Pretty sure you can use it though. So, we'll just do a little bit of this. Yeah, get that little stir. Seems to be mixing pretty good, so, yeah. Nice paint trails. Awesome. Okay, get the paste booth turned on and get this sprayed on the spoon. Tack coat. Well, it uh, 
covers really nice on the gray. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think it's metallic at all. Yeah, I don't think it's metallic. Just a uh, graphite gray. I guess that would look what looks like what it would look like if it was clear coated, but not too bad. And it uh, it definitely looks like it. It definitely levels out good uh, being the acrylic because when I was doing the other spoons, I noticed it kind of looked a little blotchy. And then um, after sitting for a couple hours, it was uh, nice and smooth. So um, I'm going to do another video on some of these. I'm going to get some more colors, um, and I'll just do a bunch of spoons with uh, the colors on it, but. I'm, I'm pretty sure that Barbados Rex uh, is going to be doing a, a review on these. Um, and he's probably going to go through tons of stuff with them. So I just wanted to give it a quick shot and try it. Um, but his link's on my main page here on YouTube. So uh, click and check him out. Um, so I guess that was it, guys. Uh, I'm going to get the uh, airbrush cleaned out. And I guess that'll be it for this uh, little video. So thanks everybody for watching and subscribing. And I will be back again soon.